Lack of empathy. Do you believe that you have a lack of empathy? Do you maybe have someone around you that you believe that person lacks empathy? So let's find out in this video where we discuss the difference between sympathy and empathy and how to recognize uh, what it actually means to be empathetic. Okay, so the difference between empathy and sympathy. Sympathy, it's more like when someone comes to you in tears, in emotional overwhelm, being very, very attached to his dramas, emotional dramas, and that person comes to you and throw out all his emotional garbage, and you know, you go along with it. Okay, you go along with it like, yes, you know, I totally agree, life sucks, come here, you know, you're totally right, uh, you know, yes, yes, everything is wrong about your life, um, and so forth, okay? Um, but you cannot feel it, okay? You cannot feel it, that's why, you know, it's a little bit inauthentic uh, what you are trying to do, okay? You cannot really feel what's going on in that person's life, but you acknowledge, um, you know that person's drama okay empathy however it's that same person can come to you in this emotional overwhelm drama and whatnot um, and instead you go along with it you can feel it very very deeply very very intense okay um, it, it even makes you cry as well okay um, it makes you very emotional upset that's empathy, okay? When you can perceive the world from someone else is perception, okay? Is that you can, you know, see the world, uh, that's everything that's going on in that person's mind, okay? Is you can tune into someone's feeling state, okay? And even maybe a little bit further down the road where you're more developed as an empath, you could even, um, develop extra sensory perception okay developing psychic intuitive abilities where you can even tune into someone's energy field that's like a higher level of empathy okay and maybe through some practice you could really do a deep soul's journey okay and see uh, maybe certain type of um, thought patterns or emotional patterns uh, that were coming from deep ancestral lines or even previous lifetimes of, of where the soul has been journeyed. That's really like a higher psychic empathetic um, abilities, extrasensory perception. Okay, but basic empathy, it's, it's um, tuning into someone's feeling state and feel what the other person is feeling. That's empathy. When you are empathetic and you feel this constantly, you know, the feelings of other people, then chances are what you might be doing for yourself, um, there are two things that you can do. Number one, life is overwhelming for you, okay? You want to give, you want to give more, you want to give more, you want to put your shoulder, put an arm are around someone's shoulder all day long okay you are the healer you are the giver you know you give 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 but it's draining you it starts to burn you out and eventually you lose touch with your own true self okay um, that's one way of empathy okay is where you give 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 but you can't receive you can't find a balance you can't protect yourself and you become drained and other people suck your energy okay that's one thing of being an out of balance empath another way of being out of balance is that yes you can feel everything so intense and you start to protect that you know you start to build walls around you and you do not want to feel the stuff from others you don't want to interact anymore with others um, and you know you, sh you, sh you start to shut down your feelings towards others. An example maybe might be is that you walk down the street, you see a homeless person, you can feel his suffering, but you continue to walk by. 
Why? Because of course there might be a reason in your mind like, hey, you know what? I got my own shit to take care for, all right? I got my own stuff to take care of. Um, I got an appointment to meet. I also have to wake, work hard for my money. Why should I give it away? Okay, so there might be, of course, like an egocentric thought going on, uh, which is pretty normal. Uh, I think we all have that in some way, but you can still feel it, okay? You can still feel someone's suffering, but you're trying to suppress that feeling because otherwise, you know, if you give, 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 you know, eventually in some way you might run empty on your own resources, okay? So that's one way. You know, is that you know you're starting to block your uh, sensitivity in some way, which might actually be quite helpful to a certain degree. Where it becomes a little bit more challenging is where you start to isolate yourself socially. Um, is that you have not really find a balance yet, and you know you you cut cord with all kind of social interactions uh, because social interactions becomes an energy drainer for you uh, this is also a process this is also a process i am going through um, since i've been increasing my sensitivity over the last years i've been very very selective with the people i hang out with uh, i've been cutting cords with a lot of social interactions um, i prefer not to interact that much socially um, but at the same time it's also a very lonely journey um, as an empath, of course, we want to heal. Of course, we want to give our gifts of healing, uh, but um, social networking might feel like a big, big, big energy drainer. That is an example of empathy, okay? Is where we can tune into someone's feelings, emotions, see the world from their perception, tune into someone's field, thoughts, emotions, or even soul's journey, which is more like extrasensory perception, uh, psychic intuitive abilities. Uh, lack of empathy is, you know, when we cannot feel that, okay? And when we cannot feel that, uh, we don't really care that much about someone's um, feelings, emotions. Um, you know, we just wanna take care for our own needs, uh, you know, do whatever it takes and the danger of that is, you know, narcissism, okay? Narcissism is, you know, it's it's this lack of self-reflection, lack of empathy, um, and we do whatever it takes to get um, our own needs met, um, self-interest. Um, have a big image about yourself. Um, and of course, it's, trying to suck someone else's energy okay and of course it's putting up an image of how great your life look like having all these success material things image identity status social status um, all of that uh, which seems to be very very appealing to a lot of others and that's why um, narcissistic people seems to attract a lot of people um, and that's why you know they they know how to extract or exploit uh, resources, energy from others, okay? Um, and they don't really care that much about uh, the feelings of others, okay? Um, I got a lot of experience in that field because my parents divorced, my mom divorced my father because he had this kind of habits. Eventually, he learned to let go of that. Um, and became more authentic in his own way. But I created certain type of habits and I got into sales entrepreneurship with the idea that if you want to get what you want, you have to find a way to manipulate the other, okay? Use psychological triggers and you know, whatnot. So there is a tiny thing of empathy involved because you can still see the world according to the perception of someone else but use it into your own advantage and in addition advantage of someone else. So there's like empathy and narcissism involved. Um, I discovered that from a very young age and then, you know, I started to deal with a lot of anxiety, stress, um, burnout, depression, because I felt lost. I felt like, okay, so 
this is the stuff that I know. Okay, this is the stuff I have always got exposed to. But it does not feel right. It does not feel authentic. And that's where I got into problems. Okay, so I had an image of, you know, what I should be doing, what I got exposed to from a very young age. But my conscience starts to work up and my feeling, my intuition wanted to, you know, cleanse that image. Okay, where we start to develop empathy and then we go through a lot of healing, cleansing periods of our life, social isolation, um, trying to find our own powers, our own unique talents and gifts on how we can be of a better service to others without getting drained, without losing ourselves in the process. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where this can go. You know, it's, um, it's learning to balance it all. It's, it's very, very challenging. Uh, it's not easy, but it has to be done. Um, sensitivity is a great gift. Empathy is a great gift. Um, but it's very important to learn to balance its final way to recharge yourself. Mindfulness, meditation, long walks in nature, um, nutritious foods, exercise, more than enough exercise, and you know, staying real for yourself, okay? Learn to give boundaries like, okay, yes, I love to help you, but not right now. Maybe we can do it tomorrow, okay? So that's something you need to be aware of. Um, I hope this makes sense. I hope you now understand um, this whole thing between empathy and sympathy. Um, do you lack empathy? That's up to you to decide. Maybe you are an empath, but you haven't really fully embraced it yet. And you know, you are uh, maybe suppressing it some way because you feel drained when you have a lot of social interactions. Um, or you have still have like a lot of things going on in your mind, in your own ego mind, and still a little bit of a process of learning to conquer that part. Um, so you can get more in touch with your empathy and uh, develop that more in a healthy way. Um, if you got any questions, if you got any thoughts, experiences you would like to share, then of course feel free to leave a comment below. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. And of, of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel where we talk more about these topics on how to, you know, align yourself with your true self. All right, here's your Paul here. Take care for now. Bye bye.